all the anxiety right now. I command you off in the name of Jesus. Hey, what's going on, family? So we out here in Palm Beach, and I'm with, um, what's your name? Carissa. I'm with Carissa. We at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, and I'm just going to ask her the same questions we always ask. So the first question is, where do you think your soul goes when you die? Oh, that's deep. Honestly, um, I think I think that we go in the ground, and then when judgment day comes, that's when God will take us up. Okay, so that's, that's interesting. So you believe in a judgment day, mm -hmm. and you believe in God. Yeah. Who do you, what do you, what's the name of your God? Jesus. Well, I'm a pastor. My God is Jesus, too. All right. So I'll say this. I used to deal with a lot of witchcraft and a lot of, um, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of fornication, all that stuff, and I couldn't. I didn't know God at all. I thought I did, but I, 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 was, I, was, a, I, was, I was faking. I was a rap captain. Until I had an encounter with Jesus Christ and I received the Holy Spirit. When Jesus Christ encountered me, it, every, it was a wrap. Everything changed. But I needed the Holy Spirit. He delivered me from demons and changed my life completely. Me too. For real? Seriously. You got delivered. You cried. Seriously, I did. Yeah. I would never, I, I don't look like it, but I just came home. I did two years in prison. And that's that's where I, I met. I, I, re, I knew God before, you know, but I needed I needed to sit down and talk to him and, and hear him. I've never heard him before. Ooh, I feel the Holy Spirit. Right so, yeah, I, 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 I feel the Holy Spirit. Whoa. Okay, I know you're a believer and I know you're saved because I, see I see it in your eyes. But you still are dealing with demonic oppression. Like stuff that's, that's keeping you like, like it's pulling you. You don't want like some stuff, like it's, 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 a, it's a pool. Am I wrong? Am I right? You're right. Right now you're going to get freed. This is my wife. She we operate in. She 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 came to me. She came with me to Christ. We were all up in the world, so we know what it's like to be pulled. And we we see a lot of young people in our church. All, everyone's young and from the streets and all types of stuff. It don't we don't look like average Christians. And I believe that um, my wife's gonna pray for you, and you're gonna you're gonna receive deliverance. Okay. So for, before she prays, you know what this is, right? Vape. You, you know vaping is um it's actually sorcery. It's witchcraft. What? So vape is like it's like the, you when you depend when you depend especially on it could be marijuana it could be nicotine whatever when you're depending on a drug you're actually your 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 body's the temple of the Holy Spirit so it's like I can't like I used I used to I was I was moving a hundred pounds every 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 month I was I was in the game for real so I know it's I know about psychedelics and I know how it alters our, it alters our relationship it's 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 creating an atmosphere in our temple for demons to dwell demons can't dwell in an atmosphere too filled with light they need darkness so when we do these things vaping um, marijuana uh, coke all that stuff we're creating an atmosphere for demons to dwell this right here like I've seen people literally delivered from demons the minute they repented from their vapes and addiction goes it's a spirit you do you want to repent of this which means saying, you know, I, don't, I honestly don't feel like I need the vape. Okay, so you're ready to let it go. I don't mind. Okay, so y'all see I'm this. I'm gonna lie to you. Once I throw that, I smoke cigarettes, so. So you want you want to get them right now and throw them out? No, I don't. You, you I'm have not to. Gonna lie. I it's don't a, want to. So you're addicted. I am. I've been smoking cigarettes since I was young. Since I was young. So addiction is a demon. The minute you're in your heart, where you say this, the simple, I want to change, and I'm repenting to you, Lord, help me and free me. That is when the Holy Spirit is going to cast that demon out of you. And you're going to literally, because I, I was addicted to, to a lot of things. The minute I surrendered and said, God, I can't do it. I need you. He came and saw, he cast the demons out. When I got delivered, I spit up blood. And I never got drunk again in my life. And I was the biggest alcoholic. We live, we live in Orlando. We're going down to Broward for my brother's birthday party. We weren't supposed to go today. I just had service last night. I was up all night. I was tired. The Holy Ghost led us here because one of our sisters in Christ is using the bathroom when we about to slide. I got my two kids in the car. So I literally heard the, the Lord say he's about to be an encounter. Go interview somebody. Interview somebody and I seen you. You had a light all over you highlighted. You what up at the what same does that mean? Time. What does that mean? I have a light over me. What's is that you, mean? that God, you are highlighted by God. And that means that God wants to touch you. And that means he loves you. He loves everybody. But he's, you're specifically right now. You are right now being encountered by Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost all over you right now. That's why you're feeling what you're feeling. Because you've been suffering too much. He want to free you. 
He want to free you. You don't have to deal with this no more, but you have to free willingly in your heart. Say, I'm done. You have to say, I'm done. And then he does the rest. He don't want you to, you don't have to, it, the Bible says, not by your might or power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Like it's the Holy Ghost. He's powerful. This is a real war. And you're being called today to go to war, not just to get freed, but now after you get freed up, go free other people up. I feel, I feel power right now, like the spirit of God. That's why you feel that. He's right, he's right here with us. He's a spirit, God is spirit. He's all, all knowing. So you ready? You want to give up the cigarettes? Go get them. Bring them here. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so this is how we do it. Because, like, here, take them. I want you to do this with me, though. This is how I do it. Just to, like, because it's spiritual. I know these demons watching, too. There's angels, but there's demons watching. You about to get freed, and they don't want that. But we going to, just to show them, this is what I do. Stomp on that thing. Go ahead, stomp on that thing. I'm done. Yep. Done. Let them demons know what's up. And then we kick that thing to the curb. Done. All right. So my wife's going to pray for you, okay? She's going to take you through a prayer. Cross your legs. All right. Just close your eyes and repeat after me, okay? Okay. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe you are the Son of God. And that you died on the cross for my sin. And that you died on the cross for my sins. I confess every sin that I'm aware of. I confess every sin that I'm aware of. And that I'm not aware of. And that I'm not aware of. And I ask you to forgive me of them. And I ask you to forgive me of them. No say, say, Lord. Lord. I confess addiction. I confess addiction. And any sexual perversion. And any sexual perversion. And defiling my body. And the defiling my body defiling my body i confess fornication i confess fornication and anything else i'm not supposed to be doing and anything else i'm not supposed to be doing in jesus name in jesus name say lord jesus lord jesus i forgive anybody i forgive anybody who has ever hurt me or harms me who has ever hurt me or harms me i forgive them i forgive them just as as much just as much as i want you to forgive me as i want you to forgive me say lord Lord, deliver me from all unclean spirits. Deliver me from all unclean spirits. I do not want them. I do not want them. They are not my friends. They are not my friends. They are my enemy. They are my enemy. And I commend them to go from me now. And I commend them to go from me now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I'm going to pray, okay? Right now, in Jesus' name. I commend all unclean spirits to leave this vessel right now in the name of Jesus. All fear, all spirit of addiction. I commend you off right now in Jesus' name. She has confessed and repented and forgiven. She no longer belongs to the devil. She belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's time for you to get out of this vessel right now. Every single thing she experienced when she was a child, all the hurt, all the depression, all the anxiety. Right now, I commend you off in the name of Jesus. Up and up. It's time for you to go. You can no longer come forth this woman of God any longer. She belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. She will be comforted by the Holy Spirit. Get up and leave. Holy Spirit, right now, you have your way. Up and out. Fill her up right now. Holy Spirit, fill your daughter up right now. Fill her up. Fill her up. Fill her up right now. Fill her up right now. Fill her up right now. More. That's the love of God. Fill her up, Jesus. That's the love of God. Fill her up, Jesus. More. Fill her up, Jesus. More. I pray right now, Jesus, that the love of God. The peace that surpasses all understanding will fill this vessel. Thank you, Lord, that she loves you, that she encountered you in prison. Thank you, Lord, that she cares about her about her, her, her child in that vehicle. Thank you, Lord, that she's a good mother. Thank you, Lord, that she changed. Thank you, Lord, that she's a woman of God, of an evangelist that's going to be used for your glory. Thank you, Lord, that she's going to leave every single unclean attachment to every man that's hurt, that's hurt her and have a husband. Father God, I ask that you give her strength today. Holy Spirit, fill her right now with your love. There, whoa. You feel that wind? Whoa. You felt that, right? Yes. That's the wind. That's the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that today she is free from what she needs to be free from and that she's going to grow. Thank you. Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray blessings over our sister. Thank In you, Jesus' Lord. name, amen. 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 Give her a hug, babe. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> how, did, how did you feel when, like, during the whole process of prayer and everything? <sighs> Just to let people know what's up, like the power of God. I can't even explain it. Like... And there's no words the amount of like peace and like love and just i can't explain it uh, you feel free i do i just feel like like just the weight of the world off my back you know Heaviness. yeah when you, seriously and you love worship music 
I've been listening. I'm not gonna lie, I've been listening to it for the past few days. For the past few days, like I've been, I've been trying in my car. Yeah. I seen you. I've been trying. I've been, I've been, I've been trying to fight. I've been. You just repented today. What you just did was a step of repentance and growth. You just showed God how serious you are. You're not gonna feel addiction no more. You're literally when you leave here are gonna be like, I have no urge for cigarettes. What the heck's going on? So just let you guys know the power of God is real. We just encountered our sister in Christ. She's a believer out of Dunkin' Donuts. Some of you are uh, dealing with addiction and different things. We all did. The Lord wants to free you from that. He does not want you to have that. That is not good. Your temple is a temple of the Holy Spirit. You have to be able to set an atmosphere within your temple for the Holy Spirit to dwell in every area of it. So repent today in Jesus' name. Satan loses again and Jesus gets the victory.